For this project, I'm going to be using a size I. It's a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And I'm going to be using this Lion Brand uh, Heartland. It's one of my favorite yarns. It's a four ply worsted weight acrylic. But of course, you don't. You can use any kind of four ply yarn that you have. You don't have to use acrylic. And I'm going to be using um, two strings at once off the same skein. So I'm going to pull from the center and from the outside. That way I don't have to open another thing of yarn because I don't think it'll take more than one. Okay, you want to start with a chain of four. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the first to form a ring. Like that. And now I want to do a chain of four. One, two, three, four. And that chain four counts as a double crochet and a chain one. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a double crochet back through the center of the ring. And with that, I made a V stitch. A double, a double with a chain one in between. So what we want to do is we want to have a total of six V stitches through the center of the ring. This is counting our first one. So we want to go back through and do a double crochet with the chain one and then another double crochet. And that counts as our second V stitch. So we'll do it again through the center, a double, chain one, and another double. So that's three V stitches. So I'm going to continue going around until I have a total of six. Okay, I got my total of six V stitches around. Now I want to slip stitch into the third stitch of the beginning chain four to close that round off. And now I'm going to be doing um, V stitch increases. So I want to slip stitch over here to the chain one space of the first V stitch. Slip stitch over into it. And now I want to do a chain four again. One, two, three, four. And then double crochet back into the same spot. So there we have another V stitch. Now to do a V stitch, v -stitch increase we did that v-stitch, we want to chain one again and then go back into the same spot again and do a double crochet. So that's a v-stitch increase. You got a v-stitch here and here all into that same space. So now we're going to jump over to the next chain one space of the next v-stitch which is right here and we're going to do another v-stitch increase. We're going to yarn over and double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and then double crochet again, all into that same chain one space. And we're going to do that in every chain one space around. We're going to come over here to the next V stitch space and double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Just like that. We want to work our way around doing that on top of every v-stitch till we get back to the beginning. Okay, I'm coming back around again and I want to slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning, chain four. Just like that. And that is what we have so far. So we're going to come over and we're going to slip stitch into this first V stitch just like we did before. Now this time around, we want to start off with the chain four again. One, two, three, four. Go back into the same spot and do a double crochet. So now we have just done a V stitch. So we're going to do just one V-stitch in that spot. 
And now we're going to come over here to the next chain one space and we're going to do a V stitch increase. So we're going to double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet again. Just like that. Now we're going to jump over to the next V stitch right here and we're just going to do one V stitch, just one regular V stitch. So double crochet, chain one, and double crochet again. Just like that. Now the next V stitch is right here. Now we want to do a V stitch increase in that one. So we're going to double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and then double crochet again, all into that same space. So what we're doing is a V-stitch and then a V-stitch increase. A V-stitch and a V-stitch increase. So our next one is going to come right here in this chain one space, and this is going to be a regular V-stitch. Like that. And then this next space will be a V-stitch increase. So this is the pattern that we're going to repeat all the way back to the beginning. Okay, now I want to, I made it back around and I want to slip stitch into the third chain of that chain four, like that. And then I'm going to slip stitch over into the chain one space, like that. Now I want to do a chain three this time, which is going to count as a double crochet. Now I want to go back into the same spot and do another double crochet. So that's two doubles, and I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to go back and do one more double. So that was two doubles, a chain one, and another double. And I want to do that in every V stitch, every space of the V stitch of, all the way around. So I'm just going to jump over to the next and do two doubles, chain one, and another double, like that, and I'm coming to the next V stitch, two doubles, chain one and another double like that so that's just kind of what it's starting to look like I'm going to come to the next v-stitch and do the same two doubles chain one and another one more double just like that so I'm going to do that in every v-stitch every chain one space of the v-stitch all the way around. I made it back around and now what I want to do is I'm gonna slip stitch into the top of the chain three like that and then I'm gonna slip stitch over to the chain one space so I'm gonna slip stitch into the next double crochet and then I'll be able to slip stitch into the chain one space like that. Now I want to chain three. One, two, three. Which is going to count as a double crochet. And I'm going to go around and repeat the pattern again. I'm going to put another double crochet in that same spot. So that's two double crochets. Chain one. And then I'm going to go ahead and put one more double crochet in that spot. Like that. And then I'm going to jump over to the next chain one space. Remember we did two doubles and then a chain one and another double. So jump on over there and do two doubles. Chain one and another double just like that. And then we'll jump over to the next let me loosen up some yarn here. Let 
And then we'll jump on over to the next chain one space, which was right here. And do it again. Two doubles. Chain one and another double. Just like that. And we're just gonna do that around. Oh, my bunny just jumped up here. I don't know if you see my bunny before. <laughs> he's house trained, so he gets to run around. And he's always in here pestering me. <laughs> Chewing on my string and stuff. I'm sorry if he distracted you. Um, his name is Greg. So in every chain one space, is we're going to do the same thing. So every round's going to be the same now. Until we get the length that we want our hat to be, it's going to be two doubles, chain one, and then one more double in every space. Just like that. So I'm going to repeat this pattern back to the beginning. Okay, I made it back around again. And now every row is going to be the same. We're just going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three. And then we want to slip stitch into the next double crochet. And then slip stitch over in this chain one space. And then we chain three again. And then we go and do our pattern. We'll do another double. So that'll be counting that chain three. That's two doubles, chain one, and one more double. And that's what we'll do in every one of these chain one spaces all the way around. And we'll do that every round. So I'm not sure how many rows of this I'm going to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started and I'll let you know here in a second how many rows I do total. Okay, I went ahead and did, from the very beginning, a total of 11 rows. But you can do as many as you want. That's how many I did. I tried it on my head, so that's what fit me. So now, um, and I went ahead and tie it off. And I'm going to start again, fresh, with two strands of yarn again. And you can start in any spot that you want. Um, you want the right side of your work facing you. So, I'll probably just start where I left off earlier. I'm going to go ahead and go through that and then through the slip knot on my hook. Okay, to start. Now I'm going to go back in that same stitch and do a single crochet. And I'm going to do a little bit of a decrease this round. So I'm going to do, um, see, um, I'm going to do six single crochets and then a single crochet decrease. So this counts as our first one. So I'm going to work along. That's two. Three. And when I get to a chain one space, I just go all the way through it. So that's four. Five. And then six. Now I'm going to decrease. I'm going to go into the next stitch, drop a loop, and then the next stitch, which happens to be a chain one spot, but drop a loop and yarn over and go through all three loops on my hook. Now I'm going to do six more single crochets in a row. One, two, three, four, five, oops, six, and then I'm going to decrease over the next two, go in the next stitch, drop a loop, and then the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go through all three. So you just want to repeat that pattern back to the beginning. Six single crochets and then a single crochet decrease. Okay, I made it back to my beginning after that row of single crochet and single crochet decreases. Here's where I started right here. If you want to put a stitch marker here, you can. If you can't, if you have trouble remembering that this is where 
you start and finish but just go ahead and jump over to that first one and put a single crochet and now I'm going to work my way across and I'm just going to put one single crochet in every stitch all the way around no decreases just one in every stitch until I get back to the beginning Okay, and once you make it back to your stitch marker, after that row of single crochets, here's my stitch marker, go ahead and just slip stitch into the next stitch, like that, and then you can tie off and hide your tail, and then we'll start working on the bill part of the, of the hat. Okay, once you got that all tied off, um, this is what, now we're going to make the bill. So you start from where you left off. This is where I can tell. This is where I did my last slip stitched. So I'm just going to fold it in half like this. And I'm going to count 20 stitches over this way and put a stitch marker, which I did. And then 20 stitches over this way and put a stitch marker. And that's going to be the spot for the bill. So once you get that marked off, we'll start with our slip knot. So you want to start with your good side of your work facing you so your stitches look nice. And go ahead and go into the first stitch with the stitch marker. You can move it out and pull through that slip knot that's on your hook. Just like that. And then chain one. And then we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch across one single crochet in every stitch until we get to our stitch marker that's on the other side to the stitch marker, marker stitch just go ahead and go into that stitch now at this point you can chain one and turn and go across again I don't I want to, I would suggest tying off right here and then starting again at the other side. That way all these stitches are going the same way. Otherwise you're going to get the backwards look. So I would just clip your yarn right here and then hide your tail. And then I'll, I'm going to hide this and then I'll show you how to restart over here. So we'll go ahead and start again in the stitch that we started in before. Go ahead and pull through that slip knot on your hook like that. Chain one. And now what we want to do is skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next. And then now we'll single crochet again. One and each stitch across so I get down here to the other end I'm in to the other end here and I'm single crocheting and then when I get to my last two stitches, there's the, the stitch and then the, where we tie it off. Skip this one and single crochet into the next. And then again, I'm going to tie off, hide the tail, and then restart on the other end. So I'm going to go ahead and tie off real quick and I'll meet you back over here. Other end again on my bill. I just started my yarn in the same stitch as I started in and before. I'm going to work my way down now putting one single crochet in every stitch again until I get to the other side.
come into the end of this row, you skip one stitch and single crochet into the last. Now don't tie off now. Now I'm going to go around the whole bag, or the whole bag, the whole uh, hat with a row of single crochet. So I'm going to go down the side of the brim. And then all the way around the whole hat. Just like this. I'm going to keep going around until I get back here and I'm going to go across the top of the brim again. All the way around and I'm going to cross the brim again with the row of single crochet and then I just slip stitched right here at the end of my brim just in one of these stitches and I'll hide that tail and that is going to be it it looks huge because you use two pieces of yarn but it fits trust me I just put it on um, if you want to add a flower you can I might add a flower I'll show you how to do that too I'm going to go ahead and hide this tail Okay, I'll go ahead and show you how to make the flower real quick. You can make any kind of flower you want, or you don't even have to put one on, but if you want to make it like me, I used a bigger needle this time. I used a size J, 6 millimeter crochet hook, and I'm still using my two strands of yarn. And I'm going to start off with the chain of 6. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the first to form a ring. And now I'm going to do a chain four. One, two, three, four. That chain four counts as a triple crochet. So now I'm going to do three more triple crochets through the, through the center of the ring. So I'm going to wrap twice this time and then go through the center and work out my triple crochet. So there's one, wrap twice. and there's three triples that I just did and I got my chain four so now I want to want to do what I want to do is chain four again one two three four and then I'm gonna slip stitch into my ring and that forms our petals and we're gonna need a total of five petals so now I'm going to chain four again. One, two, three, four. And now I want to do four, I'm sorry, three triples through the center. One, two, three triples. Kind of scoot them over as you go. And I'm going to chain four again. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to come down and slip stitch into my ring. And that's, and I want to do that a total of five times. So I have five petals. Chain four again. One, two, three, four. And then you wrap twice and do your three triples. One, there's two, and three. And then you chain four. One, two, three, four. Slip stitch back down. And you keep doing that until you get four, or I'm sorry, keep doing that until you get five petals. And then at your last slip stitch, you can just tie off, and then your flower's done. And I already got mine. This is what it looks like. And to sew it on, you just sew it on with your yarn needle. Just, just like you normally would sew anything on. Really easy. So, um, 
back through here and back down and that's it and it looks big and bulky and it looks like it's not going to fit but trust me it will it just looks big and bulky because we used um two strands at a time to make it look bulky because i wanted the bulky look so but i think it turned out good um don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel and please come and check me out on facebook um we always have um bag competitions and everything with some pretty good prizes that you're always uh uh, can always join in and have some fun with us and you can always post all your crochet items on there, too We like to see them and um, don't forget to check out the back of day crochet store where I have a bunch of t-shirts and Coffee cups and stuff. Um, I'll put a link to all that stuff below in the description box and until next time have a nice day